going on, going on. Okay, this is... How much air is inside this scuba tank? This will be strong enough to pop through that balloon. I have a very interesting question for you. How much air is inside a scuba tank? Now I've been scuba diving for a long time and I have a very good feel for how long a scuba tank will last. But what I don't have a good feel for is how much air is actually inside of a scuba tank. So to answer this question, I bought the biggest balloon I have ever seen before. It's a seven foot diameter balloon. So this balloon is huge. We're gonna rig it up to the scuba tank. We're gonna open the valve in the scuba tank and release all the air from the scuba tank into the balloon. We're gonna see how big the balloon gets. How much air do you think is inside the scuba tank? Is it a garbage can size worth of air? Is it a phone booth size worth of air? Or is it a school bus size worth of air? Go ahead, comment your answer below. Keep in mind that even though the scuba tank looks small, it's pressurized to 3000 PSI. So this tank here is a very common tank. This is called an 80. So there's 80 cubic feet worth of air stuffed inside of that scuba tank. Now, if you're really smart, you may know exactly how big that is, but most of us, including myself, couldn't really visualize how much air that is. In order for me to do this test, I need to figure out a way to attach this balloon onto the scuba tank. This balloon has a giant, giant mouth on here. I don't even know how I would connect to that. So I have a crazy idea. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna stretch it right over the dive tank. Let's see if I can. What's going on? What's going on? The balloon right over the tank is not really working out. I actually tore the balloon already. So I'm gonna put a ton of tape on this dive tank. Okay, this is what we call Florida man engineering at its finest right here. I think the balloon will seal on that. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty good. See, that's gonna tape down to the tank. Back up. I'm gonna put a zip tie on here and squeeze it down really tight as well with the zip tie and hopefully all this will hold this balloon in place. Ah, it feels like it's on there pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Okay, balloon's all rigged up and it is go time. I'm gonna open this valve and we're gonna fill up this balloon and I'm gonna stay a safe distance away and I'm also gonna keep some earplugs on hand because if this balloon pops, it could be really loud. So I'm gonna have my earplugs in. Crack open, oh there it goes. Oh, here it goes. It's going. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, this is. The balloon is getting bigger. I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Okay, the balloon's been filling for about two minutes, and this is how big it's gotten. Let me look at it. It's getting big. This is a big. That is a big balloon, and I think my rig with all the tape is holding. All of the air from that scuba tank is going up into that balloon and squeezing that balloon out. So by the time that scuba tank's empty and that balloon is full, we'll be able to see exactly how much air was inside of that tank. Guys, this balloon is getting massive. It's filling for about four minutes off the scuba tank, and look, Look at how big this thing is. It's, I don't know how much bigger this balloon can get without blowing up. I should not be standing right here. Okay, look at it. It's, the balloon's gotten so big now that the wind has started to catch it and the wind's like blowing it around, which makes me a little nervous because if it stretches the bottom too hard, it could blow up. I was thinking about laying the scuba tank down so that the balloon's not flopping around, but I, I don't know if that's any better, you know? The, anytime I would take a balloon and drop it on the grass here in Florida. Oh, whoa, the scuba tank just fell over. Okay, well, that answers that question. Okay, the balloon's been going for about 10 minutes now and it's still filling. I still hear air coming out of the scuba tank. But look at the balloon now. It's, uh, balloon is, I don't know, do you, what do you think? Balloon's almost as tall as me. It's starting to get really firm. Now I'm worried because if this thing, I don't know how much bigger this will go before it wants to explode. All right, guys, this is it. This is how much air is inside the dive tank. The dive tank has stopped filling into the balloon. That means the dive tank's just about empty. And this is how much air is inside this dive tank. So it's basically a balloon that's seven foot diameter. That's how much air is inside of there. So I would say if you guessed the second option, I would say a phone booth's worth of air is inside this dive tank. Definitely not a school bus size worth of air and definitely a lot more than a garbage can size worth of air. I would say this is about a phone booth size worth of air if this were squared out. So I think that's what it is. So good job if you guessed that. You are very smart and good with geometry and physics. Now it's time 
to pop this balloon. And of course, you know how we're gonna pop this balloon like a true Florida man? We're gonna shoot right through this balloon with an airsoft gun. It is not real, guys. It's just an airsoft gun, but let me show you how powerful this thing really is. There is a can of Coke right there. We can put this baby on full auto and look at that. Let me show you this can of Coke right here. Look at that, shredded the metal right through it. So hopefully this will be strong enough to pop through that balloon. I have my earplugs on in case this thing is really loud. So we're gonna start from a far distance away just in case this thing goes off with a big, big bang. Let me hit the dive tank. There you go, hitting the dive tank. Now let's hit the balloon. Oh, it's bouncing off. Oh, I just got hit. <laughs> this balloon is so strong. Oh, the, air, <laughs> the airsoft BB. They're just bouncing right off and they're actually coming back and hitting me. I'm gonna put it on full auto and give it a nice burst on the side of the balloon. It all bounced off, that is crazy. Let me get a little bit closer to see if I could penetrate. Okay, I'm really close in the balloon now. Let's give it a full auto burst. It's just, ah, oh, it's bouncing off. Whoa! Ho ho! Woo! Oh man. That did it, we got close enough. We penetrated it with the airsoft gun and it blew up. So anyway guys, I hope you learned something. There is a lot of air inside the scuba tank, but not too much air. So it is about a phone booth's worth of air, and that is about 80 cubic feet, which is what exactly this scuba tank is rated to hold, 80 cubic feet of air. Normally on this channel, we do scuba related stuff, but sometimes we do little science experiments like this related to scuba so that we can learn about what we are doing. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to this channel for more great underwater in Florida content like this. Thanks again guys. Now get out there and explore.